I'm Kerry Kuhn and today I'm going to demonstrate for you guys how to assemble the electric fence reel made by Vogler Manufacturing. So the tools that you're going to need, a couple crescent wrenches, a 9 16 size wrench. I've got a 9 16 socket because I don't do a lot of wrenching so this is going to make it a little easier for me today. And you'll need an Allen wrench 5 32nd in size <clears throat> and a drill. This electric fence reel is, is driven by a drill and we recommend an 18 volt size drill so the chuck will fit on the drive shaft of the fence reel. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. We'll start with the horizontal tube. This is what slides into your receiver. So I'll get this slid in here. I'm going to go ahead and put the pin in. Just so it doesn't come out while we're putting it together. Once I have the horizontal tube slid into the receiver, I'm going to loosen this tightening bolt right here and I'm going to slide out the extension. This extension is put on here so you can adjust whatever length you need it to be back from your vehicle. If you're, if you're hooking this to a flatbed pickup, you're probably not going to need to adjust this at all. I'm going to slide it out past the tailgate here. It's really handy where you can use your tailgate to set stuff on. And then we'll go ahead and tighten that down. Obviously, if you're, if you're hooking this to a utility vehicle or an ATV, you can adjust whatever length you need there. Once you have that set, then we'll take the vertical tube, which will slide right into this extension on the horizontal tube. Now you just need to be down past this tightening bolt here. I'm going to go ahead and flush that up. We'll tighten this down to hold it in place. And the vertical tube also has an extension. So we'll, I'm gonna go ahead and slide that up a little bit. Again, that'll be really handy as you go from, from vehicle to vehicle. Obviously your ATV might not be as high off the ground as your pickup. So you can get that adjusted to a height that's a little handier to work with. Tighten that bolt down. So the next piece we'll put on is the main body. This main body has two tightening bolts on it. So we'll slide it down over the vertical tube extension there. I just need to make sure that I'm down past this tightening bolt here. I can slide it down flush. You can put it wherever you want it, just as long as you're past that tightening bolt there. We'll get that tightened down there. We'll go ahead and tighten this one on the side a little bit. The next piece we will add is the drive shaft. This drive shaft has two locking collars on it. Here's where your Allen wrench is gonna come into play. So I need to take this locking collar off. This is gonna slide right through here on the main body. <coughs> Slide that in and then your locking collar is going to come right back on here to hold that in place. There is an added grease zerk right here so you can grease that bushing inside there as needed. Once I have that on, then I'm going to add my drill saddle. This is the piece that's actually going to hold my drill in place. So I won't have to stand back here and try to keep this drill from swinging around. So this is going to slide right up underneath here. We'll get this piece tightened down. And this is the one spot where I'm going to need my crescent wrench along with my other wrench, my other crescent. Get that tightened. The next piece is our wire guide. This is going to slide in up here at the top. Another tightening bolt here that we need to tighten down just to keep it in place. And once we have that on, we will add our reel to this drive shaft. So I'll take this other locking collar off here. The next piece we'll add is the reel. This is going to slide right onto the drive shaft. You'll notice this little hole right here next to this center hole. We need to make sure that hole lines up with the drive pin here on the drive shaft. And there are additional reels available in quantities of six. 
you can check the website below or your local dealer. Get that lined up. Then we'll slide this locking collar back on down here to hold this reel in place. <clears throat> and then all we have left to do is add our drill. Again, we recommend an 18 volt size drill so that the chuck end of your drill will fit over the drive shaft right here. So it's just gonna slide on here. You can see how the drill saddle back here holds it in place. And then you just tighten this down and then it's ready to roll.